when she brought it because I love unicorns and I just, oh, okay. I was just so the only pair of unicorns. Yeah, yeah it's another pair. This is exclusive. Um, well, I spent the last five years like in and out of psych hospitals and rehabs. I've never really been like stable. And the one thing that's like been consistent has been my creativity and my art. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sage and I make ears and I'm a mental health advocate. I want to inspire others because your art can be therapy and it can totally heal you. Hi, I'm Deirdre. I'm a fiber artist and I'm here to make a difference in the world. Impoto Power is a registered Canadian charity that offers long-term support to residents in the downtown east side. We do this by offering resources to development courses as well as entrepreneurship. And we really want people to make it in the long term, so we hope to provide people with the tools to help themselves in the long run, personally and economically. Um, we had just got talking about, you know, her project years, and I remember just seeing her so passionate about like making these and how it helps us through her healing journey. I feel like, you know, I can actually go somewhere with these ears and it's not just like a fun hobby anymore, like it's something I can be proud of and that brings me closer to people. With development, our goal is to empower self-confidence and we do this by teaching, you know, basic business fundamental skills. Second, with entrepreneurship, is really providing a hand up in long-term sustainability. So what that looks like is mentorship and, and microloans for emerging artists in the community. I have a mentor, a studio space. They've given me a space where they listen to me. They've given me empowerment. Like I really do feel strong that I can go and do many other things. I've got tools and knowledge and it's letting me grow. And finally, with advocacy, we really want to raise awareness about the stigma in the community and we do that through our events. So that's the Vancouver Street Store and the Cobber Project. So the concept of the street store began in South Africa, Cape Town. They had, it was a free pop-up clothing store for people experiencing homelessness. And since their birth in 2011, they have opened it worldwide where anyone can host their own street store. So the Vancouver Street Store is, was founded in 2014 and it is a free outdoor pop-up shop for people experiencing homelessness. And they get to choose what they want and need at no cost with dignity. Picture it as a big festival, food, haircuts, music, a hub for community connection in the downtown east side. After the Street Store initiative, we really saw the needs of the community and it has evolved into Wood and Power since where we work with people one-on-one. -on -one. Our last cover project back in July, we had a chance to feature three of our amazing entrepreneurs. They got a chance to not only share their story in a non-judgmental space, but they had a chance to sell their artwork as well. Employer and Power gave me an exhibit that I could actually talk about my mental illness as well as my art. And uh, I was able to do that with other people. It was a collaboration of all of us talking and we all got to share. And having someone else share I was then enabled to share as well because it meant I wasn't standing alone. I deal with like a lot of anxiety, especially like social anxiety. And I never in a million years would have thought that I would be doing like a like public speaking event and, you know, have all the support that I did to do that and like being scared and doing it anyway, you know, like it, it really makes me feel like a, like a stronger person. And, you know, I've always wanted to like try and get my message out there. So I really appreciated having like a direct link into the community. It's like a big gush of wind when we do this. It's like, we, and people are receptive to it. And uh, yeah, it really makes me feel strong. I really just want to make a difference in how the world and how social media, you know, responds to people that are going through, you know, mental disorders and things like that. You break your leg, you can talk about it. You break your brain, somehow there's a stigma that you can't talk about it. Like, it's like you gotta hide it. It's shameful, a secret. I want to see a world where, you know, that could become a part of casual conversation. I would never have thought this like two years ago. Two years ago, I was lying on my back, not leaving my house, not feeling any self-worth. My father died in 2016, my mother died in 2017, and in 2019, out of all that depression I had in those two or three years, I'm now doing art in the museum. This is big. I'm able to be published. This is big. It doesn't get any better than that. We just have to kind of 
reach out. I had to reach out to Christine and say yes. I've got a support system and network for like the first time in my life and I feel like I'm actually making measurable strides that are like consistent and you know like I'm making growth and progress and like it's sticking.